Yo guys, welcome to our channel today. The channel is Nazvin Network. Kindly be able to subscribe. Uh, I want to encourage you to subscribe. This way we'll get to discuss matters medical. Always in a simple language we can, which you can always understand. Today we have a very sensitive topic. What happens when you, do, you have sex every day for a month? What happens when you have sex every day? For a month. The previous video, we talked when you don't have it for long. What happens if you have not watched? Kind of watch my immediate previ uh, previous video. Uh, it talks about it. So today we are talking about uh, what happens when you don't have sex for long, especially for a month. If you have sex every day for a month, sorry for that. So having sex every day or daily for a month uh, has several effects, both positive and neutral. Mark my words, always positive and neutral. On physical health and also mental health, and relationship dynamics. So here, are the, uh, here is what you might experience when you have it every day. Guys, welcome. The channel is not been. And if you have not uh, really subscribed to our channel, please subscribe uh, and always share, like, give a nice comment because we want to take this channel to the next level. So guys, uh, number one, uh, is about the physical health benefits. It's in, uh, about the improved cardio the cardiovascular health. Sexual activity increases the heart rate, which can be li uh, a light form of uh, cardiovascular uh, exercise, benefiting the heart. And also, over time, uh, it, it gets to improve your uh, cardiovascular health. Number two is about boosted immune, immune system. Level of sexual activity can be shown as shown to improve or enhance the immune function, and it can stimulate the production of uh, antibodies, especially, and the, which can help uh, body fight a lot of uh, infections at the end of the day, and also keep uh, that health of your body. Also, better sleep is also another benefit which you get from uh, regular uh, sexual activity. Sex promotes the release of oxytocin and the endorphins, so and other hormones that will promote health and relaxation. So uh, potentially leading to uh, help the body fight infections, reduced pain, reduced pain, yes. So the release of endorphins during the sex uh, can help reduce the certain types of pain, such as a headache or muscle pains or muscle aches, and they may result into improving overall pain uh, tolerance at the end of the day. Uh, that's the part of the physical uh, health benefits on the improved cardiovascular system, boosted immune system, better sleep, and also reduced pain. On the number two is about the mental and emotional ben health benefits, where reduced stress and anxiety comes up, where sex releases uh, sex uh, releases hormones like oxytocin, which help to reduce the stress levels and also create the feelings of well-being and also relaxation of our bodies. Number two is about improved mood. When to, because of the release of the endorphins and the dopamine during the sexual activity, it can lead to improved mood and also potentially help to manage uh, the symptoms of depression and anxiety of, for some people. Increased confidence, regular intimacy may boost self-esteem, uh, body confidence, and also overall mental health. This also helps to manage the symptoms of depression and anxiety at the end of the day for some people. So also increased confidence, regular um, uh, sexual activity, boosts the confidence and also self-esteem uh, and also overall uh, mental health. So that especially which can lead to a closer emotional connection and also with uh, especially uh, when you uh, when uh, it is with uh, your partner at the end of the day. Number three is about relationship and intimacy benefits. Stronger emotional bond, daily intimacy often increases feelings of closeness, attachment, and trust at the end of the day, where one promotes the release of oxytocin, often called the bonding uh, hormone. The oxytocin is also called the bonding hormone. So this sexual activity promotes it, especially 
uh, the, that strong emotional bond because of the release of oxytocin, it gets to promote uh, this one of the best benefits which one gets uh, with uh, that uh, uh, sexual activity. Enhanced communication, regular sexual connection can improve uh, desire and also can also improve uh, sexual connection, satisfaction, communication, especially when you are open, openly discussing the desires and also boundaries. Potential relationship, uh, strain, uh, uh, well, sex can enhance closeness. So it is important to ensure both partners are comfortable with the frequency. Uh, forcing daily sex without mutual desire could lead to burnout, the sentiments, and also stress at the end of the day. So very careful, we need to be potential relationship strain can come about with this. So it, mu it must be a mutual agreement, no forcing things there at the end of the day, guys. Potential drawbacks also, physical discomfort or soreness is also a potential uh, drawback which comes with daily sexual activity which might cause soreness, particularly the sensitive areas or lead to uh, minor injuries. Also, it needs to be very careful. Decreased libido can, can also be one of the potential side effects of this. Some people may experience a temporary libido reduction or fatigue over time as desire. And also, this can lead to fluctuate with them um, uh, with regular activity. So this fatigue time can also yeah, crop in. Also, increased risk for UTIs for women. More frequent sexual activity can sometimes increase the risk of uh, UTIs, that's urinary tract infections. Staying hydrated, urinating after sex can prevent this. Also, potential changes in routine and lifestyle. Prioritizing the intimacy is very key. Guarding intimacy to your routine can help you into your uh, may bring a lifestyle adjustments, which could be can be beneficial where you can better manage uh, it depending on the schedules and also your energy levels. So, how can you manage uh, this uh, sexual activity? We are engaging in the daily. How you are supposed to carry it? If you are engaging in daily uh, sex for a month. Uh, managing physical, emotional, and also relationship well-being is key in maintaining uh, that uh, 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 in maintaining that positive experience. So some of the strategies you can, which can help you, I'm going to share with you some of them. And uh, number one is about uh, physical uh, health management, especially number one, you should uh, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water can help maintain the energy levels and also reduce the risk of urinary tract infections, especially for women. Number two, practice proper hygiene. You need after sex to help to flush out the bacteria and also reduce the risk of UTIs. And follow routine hygiene uh, protocols or routines to keep both you and your partner uh, health. Use lubrication to prevent discomfort or irritation. Consider using water-based lubricants, especially in Kenya, we have what we call KY jelly, which is very key in this help, especially when the partner starts feeling so or dryness from the increased uh, sexual activity. Take breaks when needed. If you, are, if you feel soreness, minor discomfort or fatigue, consider modifying activities like taking short break to allow your body for to recover. Emotional and mental health uh, management, Communicate openly, where daily intimacy can lead to emotional changes. So keep communication open with your partner, which is very key at the end of the day, so that uh, you are feel, you express your feelings and also need. Discuss boundaries, preferences, and also adjustments you might need. Also balance sexual activity with self-care, where make time for self-care activities like exercise, mindfulness, or hobbies to maintain the overall mental well-being, to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Uh, with daily intimacy. Check in with yourself, regular assess your mental and also emotional state to ensure you are feeling comfortable and positive about the experience. Adjust frequency, intensity as needed to support the emotional health at the end of the day. Relationship and intimacy management. Keep intimacy playful and varied. So mix up routines, locations, or try and sexual bonding uh, activities to keep the experience uh, more are fresh, enjoyable, and also balanced with other types of uh, intimacy. 
so respect each other's boundaries. Any sex might bring uh, different different needs. So respect any station or needs for breaks. Flexibility and mutual uh, respect are essential to maintain a health relationship dynamic. So focus on other forms of connection. Daily intimacy can be about more than just physical connection. Enjoy uh, quality time and also share interests, activities to strengthen your bond in multiple, way, in multiple ways. Prevent and manage physical discomfort. That's very key. Practice pelvic floor exercises, like I mentioned even in the previous video, where women, Kegel exercise can help maintain vaginal health and prevent health-related uh, related issues to increase the sexual activity, use moisturizer and soothing uh, products if needed. If uh, it, irritations and soreness arises, uh, gentle moisturizers or cooling gels like aloe vera can soothe the sensitive areas. Be sure to avoid uh, anything that can be strong of strong fragrance or additives that may cause irritation. Listen to your body, very key. If you are experiencing significant discomfort, Fatigue or in signs of infection, consider slowing down or seeking uh, medical advice if needed. Protect sexual and reproductive health. Use protection, that's very key. You, pre you pre want to prevent pregnancy and STS, uh, is, very, a pri 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 is a very big priority. Use reliable protection methods such as condoms consistently. Regular health screenings is very key also. If you are not a monogamous relationship, Regular sexual health screenings can help you and your partner maintain sexual health over time. Managing daily intimacy about staying uh, tuned to your body is very key on emotions and your partner's needs with good communication, mutual respect, and focus on overall health. Daily sex uh, uh, sex can be uh, positive and, and uh, enriching experience for both uh, partners. Unfortunately, sometimes we have complications related to daily sexual experience. Because engaging in daily sex is, is, is for an extended period of time can lead to several potential complications, which may vary from one each person is physical and emotional uh, health as well as dynamics of relationship. So some of the possible complications which come about to be uh, one needs to be aware of, especially number one physical complications. So a sort of physical discomfort is one of them. Adult sexual activity can cause, especially the soreness, can come up with the soreness, uh, irritation or friction bands, and also especially in the sensitive areas. This can affect both uh, men and female at the end of the day, particularly if lubrication is uh, insufficient. So increased risk for UTIs is also another complication for women. Frequent sex can, can sometimes relate to UTIs or in tract infection due to movement of bacteria around the urethra. So practicing good hygiene such as urinating after sex uh, and staying hydrated can help uh, one uh, reduce the risk. Vaginal dryness and irritation can also be one of the complications where for women, uh, frequent, uh, for women, frequent intercourse can lead to dryness, discomfort, or mild abrasions. Using lubrication can really help, but overuse of certain products can also be the cause of that uh, irritation at the end of the day. Fatigue and muscle strain is also one thing. Daily sex can lead to physical fatigue, especially when one becomes uh, strenuous. And this can sometimes result in muscle soreness or in mild injuries, particularly in the back of the hip or the hips. Uh, so that's very, that's what you, one of those are some of the complications. So I've talked about fatigue and muscle strain, vaginal dryness and irritation increased uh, risk for UTIs, we talked about soreness or physical discomfort. Psychological and emotional complications, we have performance pressure. Daily sex can sometimes uh, lead to performance anxiety or feelings of uh, pressure if, not, uh, uh, if the expectations are not met, met. This can affect the enjoyment and lead to stress, especially if the partner feels when the either partner feels obli obligated. So uh, physiological and uh, emotional complications. Uh, so performance pressure they, uh, because of the daily pressure to perform. Reduced libido is also another emotional complication where over time libido may decrease due to routine natural of daily use. And also for some people, constant available bit of sex may reduce the novelty and also the excitement to eat, potentially affecting the desire 
and also uh, emotional burnout. Physical intimacy every day can lead to emotional burnout, where the activity fear, feels less meaningful or fulfilling at the end of the day. This is common if emotional needs are not being addressed alongside physical, uh, the physical intimacy part of it. Relationship strain is also another part of it. Potential for uh, misaligned uh, expectations. If your partner feels obligated or less interested than the other, this can lead to uh, uh, misunderstandings, frustrations, and also it can lead to resentment at the end of the day. Also, reduced quality of intimacy when uh, sex becomes a routine than a special experience. It, uh, can lead, it can be less meaningful, and also this can sometimes reduce the emotional uh, closeness and also over time it, the intimacy becomes uh, too habitual. Number four is about sexual health risks. We have uh, increased risk for STIs in a monogamous relationship. If the partners are not monogamous or it is uh, or use protection con protection cons consistently, so daily sex can in can increase the risk of sexually transmitted infection or mono imbalance. Although it's less common. Frequent sexual activity might temporarily affect the hormonal levels, such as testosterone and the endorphins at the end of the day, so which can could affect uh, which can affect the mood and also energy and also libido at the end of the day. Reduced personal time and focus, impact on daily routines. Integrating daily sex can sometimes disrupt normal routines, uh, leaving less time for other personal activities like uh, hobbies or responsibilities which can affect work life at the end of the day and also uh, lead to uh, and also work life and also lead to fatigue and when you try to balance between work and the sexual performance. Also potential dependency where communication where some people become dependent on physical intimacy as their main form of emotional connection which may limit emotional and the communication or other time for bonding. Managing this complication is very easy. So balancing both physical and emotional uh, communication and emotional well-being is key in the managing of this uh, complication. Taking breaks, open discussing needs and boundaries, and both for help to uh, the uh, help one to manage this uh, experience of uh, uh, sexual complications related to daily uh, sexual performance. So. Uh, on the prevention part of it, to prevent these complications is very key from daily sex related over extended period of time. Uh, so number one is about protect physical health where you use lubrication, like I've mentioned, avoid using uh, products with perfumes and also additives which might cause sensitivity. Practice very good hygiene, showering or cleaning gently before or after sex. And urinating afterwards, it helps uh, to prevent infection. This is particularly important to reduce the risk of UTIs in women. Staying hydrated is a very key. Drinking enough water daily supports the general health and also can help flush bacteria to reduce the risk of it. Listening to your body, if you experience discomfort, discomfort uh, soreness, and also fatigue, consider resting to allow your body to recover. Emotional and mental well-being, open communication with your partner is very key. Take regular, regularly, check, talk regularly with your partner about your, how you are both feeling and also whether daily sex is still enjoyable and also comfortable so that uh, communicate boundaries and respect each other energy levels. Uh, very key, focus on quality and over quantity. Ensure that the intimacy remains meaningful by prioritizing connection and the gym mentor when they need to have sex daily. Non-sexual affection like cuddling or massages can help closeness without having that physical uh, sex strain at the end of the day. Managing stress is also very key. Sex can be a great stress reliever, but it's also very important to include other stress uh, management practices like mindfulness, exercise, hobbies, to maintain a balanced mental health. Also support of the relationship health where mix up the routine, keep uh, things for varied, because it can help the experience from feeling like uh, a, a core, try new forms of intimacy uh, by exploring or exploring different ways to connect, which can help things and keep things exciting. 
respect each other, each other's boundaries, avoid creating pressure around uh, daily sex, especially if either partner needs a break, mutual understanding and flexibility is very key to help one connect to, uh, with the thing which uh, would help one uh, have the feelings of uh, resentment or performance anxiety being excluded from, from it. Prevent physical fatigue, incorporate physical fitness, maintaining flexibility and core strength through activities like yoga or light exercise can reduce strain and support stamina, especially if daily sex becomes physical tiring. So prevent also uh, physical fatigue injuries uh, by pelvic floor exercises. We talk about Kegel exercise, which help to strengthen the uh, pelvic floor muscles. So supporting physical health and reducing the risk of discomfort at the end of the day. Practice sexual health precautions, use protections. If a pregnancy, uh, if a pregnancy prevention or STI protection is a concern, use reliable contraceptive methods for protection, such as condoms consistently. Schedule healthy checkups is very key also. Irregular health screenings, especially for non-monogamous partners, help maintain the reproductive health and catch an issue earlier. Also, maintaining personal time is very key. Balance with your personal activities. Ensure daily sex doesn't interfere with the other aspects of life, like job. Make time for personal hobbies or self-care and uh, downtime to avoid feelings of dependency uh, for on intimacy alone for emotional connection. Guys, by managing the physical health, setting boundaries, keeping communication open, and balancing uh, sex with other activities is very key. You can enjoy daily intimacy while minimizing complications, prioritizing mutual respect, emotional health, and variety, uh, and variety can make the experience positive and sustainable for both partners. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nas Vin. My name is Vincent. This is where we get to discuss matters medical, matters sensitive, such as sex, in a simple language which we can always understand without using any uh, medical jargon. That's why you need to share with your people, uh, whether old or young, because here we don't use medical jargon. Everyone can get to understand. Guys, welcome to our next hot video again. Uh, peace, guys.